Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back <laughs> to Hi. another Funcom Thursday stream. Yeah. Uh, we just jumped right into this during our conversation, didn't we? And Andy's yeah. doing his uh, JoJo poses again. I'm Yazid. These, these are just poses. These are just poses. Joining me as always, well, maybe not as, as always, but joining me as of recent is uh, <laughs> Andy and Nicole over from the US Hi. office. Greetings. Hello. And uh, yeah, so uh, it's uh, it's another Thursday. It's another day where we're gonna we're gonna play some video games, and we're gonna take a Yay. tiny little tiny tiny little break from all the spookiness that's been going on because we launched a new game today. No, uh, not today. Uh, two days ago, I mean, this week <laughs> on Tuesday. This, two on days Tuesday. Ago. It's not today, but Tuesday. Tuesday. Sorry. Uh, which is called Moons and Madness, and you guys streamed it yesterday, I think, and on Tuesday. Yep. Yep. Uh, how was that? Was that spooky? It was great. It's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah people we, are pretty hyped for it. So it was exciting. wonderful. Yeah, we had a lot of uh, really, really awesome support coming in mm -hmm. from chat on Tuesday when the game launched. Uh, we actually finished up the park on Wednesday and then played a little bit more Moons of Madness on Wednesday as well. Cool. Uh, and I had the yeah had the usual suspects in in chat just hanging out and having a really good time. So yeah, it was a really it's been a it's been a fun and kooky and wild couple days. Mm -hmm. uh, things are going really well though, but yeah. Uh, yeah, looking forward to kind of hanging out today and changing the pace a little bit. <laughs> I mean, doing your zero is still a little spooky, I guess. It's uh, it's, it's atmospheric. atmospheric. It is yeah. atmospheric. It yeah, is it's very just. It's uh, you know, it's in the spirit of Halloween. Yes, absolutely, and um, that is why we're here. So it's you know, it's Halloween, it's October, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. That is why we launched Moons of Madness on Tuesday. Yeah. What's up, Gideon? Uh, oh, what's welcome. up, Ragnar? And what? Uh, welcome wants to know if Yance played Moons of Madness too. I have played Moons of Madness. I haven't played all of it, but mm. I've played it for. Uh, I've played it during a lot of our playtests, and I played yeah. it, you know, uh, played it a little bit before we launched it as well. So yeah, I have definitely played Moons of Madness. <laughs> yeah, um, I uh, I'm also working through it as well. Yes. Not have the time. And uh, uh, I've also been following people streaming it, which has been super yeah, fun. Mm -hmm. Everyone, pretty much everyone, jumps at the same jump scares, which is uh, which great. is really amazing. Which is kind of at, at the intended potions, which yes. is <laughs> what we wanted. Yeah. So, yes. yes. Well, there's one in particular that I won't mention, but uh, you don't see coming, and we get a lot of people with it. Yes, absolutely, and, and just like weirdly, like they they really jump into the air like it's just like it's right yeah. in their face wow <laughs> it's super funny so we're uh, we're trying to put together like a clip compilation of people getting spooked yeah and uh, maybe capture some you know faces of people going <laughs> which is uh <laughs> Oh, if there's you've some got a good spook face. We want to see it. Yeah. Yes, there are some good spook faces out there. So if you have a good spook face after playing, like during when you were playing uh, Moons of Madness, like please let we us know, send them our way. Uh, but yeah, so Moons of Madness, check it out on Steam and uh, take it home with you. Yeah, take it home with you. <laughs> Enjoy it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're gonna be playing. Well, I'm gonna be playing some uh, Mutant Year Zero because. Oh hi, Prozac girl. I wanted to play some more Mutant Year Zero. Shout out to Prozac Girl who joined Prozac us. Prozac Girl. We are going to be doing a uh, MOM collage. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. MOM collage. Right. Oh, yeah. Mm. Didn't you mention? So, Andy had mentioned the other day that we say moons when we refer to the game. And then in Oslo, they usually say mom. Or is it the other way around? Oh, we say moons. At least in, uh, um, in the marketing team over in Oslo, we've called it moons. Like, Okay, because okay. we definitely call it moons over here too. Yeah. Okay. And we've said uh, for Mutant Year Zero, we almost strictly called it mutant because you know, uh, we're, we're busy okay. people and we have <laughs> no time to say the full title of all our video games. <laughs> and three syllables yeah, harder than too two. Long. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, it's two syllables, of, uh, or it could have been four syllables. So, you know, it's mutant or mutant year zero. It's actually five syllables. So we saved a lot of time on that one. I was thinking to just say the acronym. Or MYZ, yeah. I think I usually refer to it as MYZ. Anyway, uh, so yeah. I... <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, so yeah, I figured uh, we should wrap up some of uh, Prip's uh, side quests. And uh, last, last week, yeah, it was last week, we fought uh, Bot Lover. Not butt lover, but right. bot, bot lover. lover. And all his uh, police bots and uh, med bots and all that kind of stuff over at the Sea Titans map. So I figured, why not see if we can challenge the Tanker Twins uh, over at the House of Bones? Sweet. 
You want to put the Twitch chat over here? Yeah. Right? That's kind of cool. We're watching what you're going to be doing. Um, and then, meanwhile, and then, yeah. uh, Jens had made a pr pretty awesome video game quiz. It's not uh, just video games, though. It's it's, uh, it's a bit right. of everything. That's true. It's a little bit of everything. It's got some general trivia. It's got some Funcom trivia um, that chat can absolutely participate in. Jens yes. knows all the answers because he made the quiz. Yeah. Um, and he gave it to me, so I'll obviously know the questions <laughs> I'm going to be asking them. Uh, Andy saw part of the list. I saw some of the answers. So, so yeah. So <laughs> chat's going to be playing this mostly. Yeah. Um, but and I, I also may have forgotten some of the answers. <laughs> Oh really? I, yeah, I made uh, I made at least like eighty percent of this quiz uh, the same day that we had gotten flu shots at the office, oh. and so that evening I had some like uh, flu symptoms and a bit of fever. So some of it might be sort of gone in like a weird haze. <laughs> oh. Okay. But we'll see. We shall see. Okay. No, I'm good. I'm good. Uh, it was just it was the one evening where I had a bit of a, a bit of a sniffly nose and uh, yeah. and some uh, just like yeah, it felt like I had a touch of a fever, but I'm good now. That's gotcha. That's good. Yeah, my my fiance is sick, uh, or he's getting over it. So I'm drinking as and taking as many vitamins and yeah. literally any anything I can to prevent getting sick because I've got my party tomorrow. Um, right, you have a bachelor. Rhett party bachelor tomorrow. and bachelorette party yeah it's just right. a con combined joint one so because cool. um, you're getting maui i'm getting yeah. maui yeah. really yeah. soon and i'd be really happy if i didn't get sick before then yeah that'd be a good during idea. then and during the honeymoon and all of that um all right so we're gonna start with an easy one that i think some people in chat may know um but uh which funcom game is this a steam review for there is no shrek <laughs> is yeah, quote, there review. is no Shrek is the quote, Steam there review. is no Shrek. Um, I know the answer to this one. Is it, do we give the options? Uh, oh, yeah, you can give the options. Okay, sure. Yeah. Um, is it Hide and Shriek, The Park, Secret World Legends, or Anarchy Online? What could it be? I wonder. <laughs> there is no Shrek. Well, there is no that begs Shrek. the question, was it a, a negative or a positive review? <laughs> Um, I, I think it might have been a negative review. I actually oh, don't remember. <laughs> but I, yeah, I do think it was a negative review, unfortunately. Boo. Yes. Give the people I, what they I want. Agree. I guess we just have to put a trick mask <laughs> in the game. Spoilers. But yeah, if you're in chat, then feel free to guess. It's a pretty, it's it's a fairly easy one, I think. But hey, some people during the Friday quiz where we asked this question actually got it wrong. So yeah. You know, what? Who knows? Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. Because the way the because I use the, the the platform I use called is called Kahoot. It's a um, uh, it's actually made in Norway, which is pretty interesting, mm. and uh, it shows you. Like so, like you you have the questions and the alternatives on a screen in front of you, but you can play like you put in your answers on your phone. Oh. So so and so it scores you on how quickly you will uh, you will like how quickly you guess the right answer. So sometimes if you're trying to be very fast, you might you know input the wrong answer. That was awesome. Oh, okay, I can see that. I guess. Yeah. I think we did. I think we used Kahoot once at Sweet. the office. It's a super good platform, in my opinion. Mm. <sighs> oh, are you using that Silence the Salt ref you got last time? Hell yes. Nice. <laughs> God, I bet that, that gun sounds so OP. Oh yeah, it is. It's it incredibly it's OP. Because you're super limited on like, because normally you're super limited on like what silenced weapons you can use, and like mm -hmm. silenced weapons are generally like not yeah. like kind of single shot weapons that don't do a ton of damage, but. I feel like the assault rifle is really good. I'm actually gonna give it to. Uh, I'm actually gonna give it to Pharaoh instead of uh, Borman because when she's hidden, she can do a ton of uh, critical hit damage. Oh, the crit damage, yeah. 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 So. Um, Great call. Sorry, Borman. You get stuck with the little. How many? Uh, how many shots does it have before reloading? Um. Let's see. It has four. <laughs> what? Damn. <laughs> Why would you use anything else? That's yeah, incredible. Why would you use anything else? I mean, oh really? my god. What a weapon. Holy crap. No one wants to answer our quiz, I guess. 
Okay, the answer oh, is hide and shriek. <laughs> Yay! I'll, I'll do a more general one. Yeah, I mean, yes, the answer is hide and shriek. And there was no Shrek. But we did have a mock-up of the key art that said hide and Shrek. All right, so there's one of the tanker twins, torch job. And then I think another one of the tanker twins is over here. So I'm going to try to avoid them. Uh, yeah, hot sauce. Wow. <laughs> hot sauce and torch job. That's great names. So I'm going to try to avoid them for as much as possible and then take out some of these stragglers, stragglers oh. who are uh, around here. This is pyro, though. Cheers in Norwegian? Is it S K O L? Is it, a, is it what? A skull, like A with a symbol over it or something uh -oh. like that? If what is what? Skull, like cheers, or like like skull. a cheer, toast skull. Yeah. Skull. So yeah. S K O L. S K. Uh, and then there's an O, which is the A with the okay, the hole right. over it. Yeah. Okay. Skull. That building said skull, so I thought that's what it was. Uh, it actually says uh, skull, which means oh, it yeah. means school. So I, this, I missed it that much. Uh, <laughs> This says K, uh, Kung Elves Skolan or school. So uh, Kung Elves uh, School is what it means. Cool. So yeah, because this, this is a so good. It's a former elementary school, I think. Oh okay. Now all those kids are gone. Yes. Um. Okay. How old would Bart be today if The Simpsons aged in real time from when they first appeared on television? That was one of my favorite Did questions. Did hmm? you see the answer to this one? Of what? Did you see the answer to this one? How old would Bart be if Simpsons? No, I didn't see life? that one. Okay, what's oh, your guess? Oh God, it's probably one of my favorite questions from this quiz. That's pretty good. It's probably like forty-seven. Forty-seven is your guess? Actually, how long? No, not forty-seven. Like probably in his thirties or something like that. You're gonna guess the thirties? I'm gonna guess thirties, like thirty, thirty-four, thirty-five. And, and the gim. The Grim also says thirty-seven. Forty-seven. 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 Easy laying. Op is a very misleading term. Any games? Yeah, I mean. It is, it, I'm saying that in the context oh, of like, especially in terms of like silence weapons, it's clearly like <clears throat> obviously intended to be a very powerful weapon considering it is yeah. a four shot silenced weapon that does like pretty respectable damage. Yeah, for real. Uh, Cause most other silenced weapons in the game are single shot with only like two reloads because you got the crossbow, which is only it, one yeah. reload yep. with a medium range pistols, which don't do a ton of damage. And then you have this assault rifle, which does it does uh, it does 10 damage which is what the ancient pistol does on a critical hit which is geez. pretty yeah. dang good so, for a silence so it's a, weapon it's clearly just like an end game like an end ish game weapon but it's similar to like the i don't know i forget what they're exactly called but like the the, the ymir guns that like the plasma yeah. cannons and stuff like that except it's silenced yeah but i also assume that like it's it's intended to be a powerful weapon you only get like one, one of, of them yeah, yeah. I, would, I would assume so <laughs> um so uh, excuse this is me the... while I check something real quick. Oh, you're fine. So the Grim mm. answer 47, Ivor Shrumjack answer 43, Oops. Bagnaller Viking 50, Karuma 42, John says 45. Right. Uh, so the answer would be indeed 42. Oh wow, I was closer with my first guess. Yeah, because yeah. sure. Bart is uh, Bart is 10 years old when they first appeared on TV, which was the Tracy oh. Ullman show. Oh, that was in 87. And so then he would be born in 77. And at some point during an episode of The Simpsons, they established his birth date as being February something something that I forget. Oh, so and they so, act, so, okay. So they actually yeah. said it once. Okay. They did say cool. it once. So I just extract, I did the math from there. <laughs> He'd look 47 because of all the bad all habits. All the bad yeah, habits. Yeah. Oh. yeah, You can't fall that often on a skateboard and just not be affected by it some yeah. way. Just your whole body's covered in scrapes and scars. <laughs> yeah. Like, look at Tony Hawk. Oh, this is a good one. Uh, so in 2003, Hideo Kojima produced and designed a game with a light sensor built into the cartridge. What was it called? I don't know that one. Oh, wow. There was a light sensor in the cartridge? Oh, yeah. So you had to... You had to uh, take the game outside with you. And so if you just had the regular uh, Game Boy Advance, mm. it was kind of a terrible playing experience because the regular Game Boy Advance... Um, had no backlight. Yeah, oh. had no backlight. Oh. See in the sun, yeah. Oh, that does suck. Uh, there's the medbot. Oh, but, uh, Yeah, you, uh, you, you, had to, you had to take that with you if you wanted to... Uh, you had to take it with you outside if you wanted to. Because like the way it worked was that 
Uh, you were a, um, I think you were a vampire hunter? And so your weapons would be more powerful if you played during the day when the sun hit the, um, uh, when the sun hit like the, the light sensor on the cartridge. Yeah. And so if you played at night when it was darker, then the vampires would be more powerful. Oh, interesting. Wow. Yeah. That's really cool. It's a super cool gimmick. That's really That's neat. a really interesting game. I have no idea what this game was called, though. I've, I've actually never heard of it, so I'm yeah. I'm stumped. Yeah, I wish you on Jackson, like, give everyone five minutes to go. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was one of those games where I, when I read about it, I was like, oh, man, I really want to play this game. And then yeah, I just right? never got around to playing it. Um, Taco says, uh, took me 12 and a half hours to beat Moons of Madness, which might be some kind of record compared to the usual seven or eight, but I absolutely loved it. Hey, you you do it your own pace, man. You go to yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, it's not a competition, like absolutely not. If you take your time to play it, like yeah. it savor makes, it, man. It makes like, me happy to know that you took your time to like look at everything and read and all that's, of that. That's honestly what I expected. Like really detail oriented sequel rollers would do anyway. Yeah. So, like, yeah. Folks like you and like Lin Theory and stuff like that, like I know, or like Bomber, or, like I know, I know folks like you in that in that kind of ilk would definitely like pour over every little detail, you know? Yep. So that's what I that's what I expected, honestly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like I, I guess like I can compare it to just, you know, when I play different games, I'm like, oh the developers put a lot of time into doing this, so yeah. I appreciate it. So for instance, in Assassin's Creed you can teleport wherever you want eventually. Um but I like to ride on horseback or just like ride around because it's you know to me I'm like, oh maybe I'll find things that I wouldn't normally or, oh, the developers took the time to put this tree right here, or in this rock mm -hmm. here, this foliage here. Like, I would have noticed it if I, I, I don't know, stuff like that, right? I'm like, oh, I appreciate that. Yeah. Um, anyway, so the answer uh, is Boktai? The yeah. sun is in your hand. Interesting. Which is a pretty great title, in my opinion. <laughs> the sun is in your yeah. hands. And that's, that, that sounds like a very Kojima thing to do. Yeah, oh, right. Yeah. And I think it had like four sequels in the end because there were like there was one sequel on mm -hmm. another sequel on GBA and there was two there was one sequel on Nintendo DS and there was another sequel on 3DS. Oh really? So yeah, it turned out to be fairly popular. Uh, hey Jens. Right. Yes. Uh, somebody said. Yeah, I turned it off. Oh, you did. <laughs> okay. Yes. Got it. I saw it. Great. Thanks. I think it's because. Um, <laughs> I think it's because uh, your uh, key is still plugged in, not my own. Uh, so. Oh, it so, is. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Cool. Great. <laughs> so we uh, we figured it out. I, I figured that. it out at least. Great. Huh? Thanks. Appreciate it. Um, okay, what was Mario before he was a plumber? I didn't know this one. Don't know. What was he before he was a plumber? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's multiple choice that I could also say. So he was either an electrician. I got it covered. It's okay. Uh, a, a brick mason, a carpenter, or a rigger? A rigger? Yeah, a rigger. I thought it was a brick mason. You think he's a brick mason? I honestly don't know. I honestly have no idea. I don't know what I would have guessed. I wasn't aware I... that he had a profession before plumbing. I didn't so. either. He did. It, it's, it's in like two games, I think. Really? Um, yeah, where he was this officially before they like said, no, he's a plumber instead. That's interesting. Yeah. But, um, uh, well, I'd like to know what games those were because I just kind of figured it was like, oh, well, this is what he is and we're going to keep it. I didn't yeah. think it was like, oh, no, he can't be this. He has to be a plumber. I think the first one was in Donkey Kong where he was classified right. as this. Oh. And uh, the other one, I think, maybe was Wrecking Crew. But that was before that was before they like Uncle 100, like it. before they nailed down his identity as like Mario, you know? Yeah. Mario. Was Mario. that was that pun intended? What was that pun intended? Hey, what do you mean? Which which pun? Nail it down. Oh, <laughs> no. I, I actually don't know if it was a carpenter or not, but if it was a carpenter, that would have been a really good pun. Well, you're in luck because that's exactly what he was. Yep, Mario carpenter. used to be a carpenter. Well, he was actually a carpenter. Okay. He was, yeah, one hundred percent. Unintended. That's strange, but okay. Actually, I have no idea. I need to. I need to redo this because I need to switch up Borman and Faro. Yeah, Mario was so when he was first known as Jumpman in the original Donkey Kong arcade game, 
That's right. Uh, they said, like, the, the like the official like description of Mario, of Jumpman, said that he was a carpenter. And he was apparently really mean to Donkey Kong the gorilla, which then, who was his pet, I think? Uh, oh. Which then, uh, which is why uh, Donkey Kong then kidnapped Pauline, Mario's girlfriend. Okay. Oh, yeah. The deep Mario lore. The deep Mario lore. Absolutely. Um, all right. Ooh. Then I guess I'll answer or ask another one. Did you hear about the hipster that drowned? He went ice skating before it was cool. Ayo. Uh, Ayo. Uh, That's a great one. Uh, <laughs> so Mario is actually the bad guy. I knew it. Are we the baddies? Are we the, Are we the baddies? <laughs> uh, interesting fact. Another interesting fact about Mario. Um, is that uh, in the backstory of Mario and Wario, uh, Mario was really mean to Wario. And Aww. so Wario, wow. because he was a dumb child, apparently, he thought that that was how you should treat other people. Wow. Yeah. Mario's kind of a dick. He used to be kind of a dick, yeah. Uh, okay. We don't, we don't talk about his dark and storied past. No, we don't. We absolutely <laughs> we don't. All... We were all shittier people back then. We've all grown past our <laughs> our bad traits. Mario's trying to change. It's a me. It's a him, Mario. Yeah, Mario. Oh. Um. Can we talk about his mushroom addiction too? Oh, oh God. <laughs> uh. Okay. Here's a really easy one. In addition to being Spider-Man, Peter Parker spent several years working for the Daily Daily. Oh, yeah. How is it? Bugle? Bugle. Oh, yeah. Bugle? Okay, Daily Bugle as what? This is an easy one. This is a pretty a easy one. A computer programmer, a web designer, or a photographer. Uh, I'm Cave Johnson. And I approve this message. <laughs> yeah, chat, chat immediately. Yeah, got it, exactly. Right? Yeah, Get he... me a Spider Man. <laughs> 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 what, what does that mean, the um, one? There's a meme? Yeah, of course there's a meme. Hold on. What? Hold on. There's... Is it this the one that... Wait, no, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. I will find it real quick. No, not that one. E. Oh, that's not it. But yeah, men don't want... Um, it, it's something like along the lines of like... Men don't want to see uh, girl nudities. They want pictures, pictures of Spider-Man. Spider <laughs> uh -oh. It was something to that effect. I said it very badly, so it doesn't sound as funny, but you get the picture. I, I remember when the uh, the Spider-Man Spider video game, the latest one, was announced. Uh, there was like a couple of like editors in chief at various gaming publications mm -hmm. who said that they finally got to use the phrase, get me pictures of Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> They've been great. waiting their whole life to do yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, Let's see. There, yeah, there is a, so many good Cave Johnson quotes. Uh, oh, in no. particular, the one about the... Uh, uh, hold on. There's one about the control group that they have about... Okay. Now, if you're part of control group Kepler 7, we implanted a tiny microchip about the size of a postcard into your skull. Most likely you've forgotten it's even there, but it starts vibrating and beeping during this next test. Let us know, because that means it's about to hit 500 degrees. So we're gonna need to go ahead and get that out of you pretty fast. <laughs> so I love the fact that that's the control group is the one <laughs> that the has control group. <laughs> the implant, like the microchip in their skull. So if they're the control group, what was the other group? Yeah, what was <laughs> yeah. the other group? <laughs> The size of a postcard. I mean, that's a pretty. I, in my head, that it's I'm pretty thinking, sizable. Like, that's pretty big. That's a pretty giant. That's a good point chip. too. He says microchip, but yeah. But it wasn't like 1958 or whatever. To this. Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, what good writing! It's amazing what like good writing can do for like uh, the the legs of a of a yeah. project like that. Yeah, when you have memorable quotes. It also yeah. helps that J.K. Simmons is a really great actor. And that's that's true. Too. Oh, delivery yes. is also the other important. Yeah. His delivery of Cave Johnson is just mwah, amazing. Yeah. It's perfect. Perfect. Make life take the lemons back indeed. Um, okay, here's another question. Uh, how many do novels were written by Frank Herbert? Oh, God. <laughs> I, did not, I did not know this one. I, I didn't either. I had to Google this one. 
There's just one Dune just book. One, yeah, yeah. One Dune book. It's called one Dune. true one. <laughs> I don't know. The Grim says six. What are you guessing? Okay, so I... I'll just go with that. If you, yeah, <laughs> they, they seem very sure, so I'll just go with six myself. That is something I saw on the list, but I didn't see where the check mark was. So I'm, I actually don't know yeah, what the yeah, answer yeah. is, but I'll just go with six. He uh, he did write a bunch, and then his uh, son took over with. Uh, Kevin J. Anderson, I think the dude's called. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you, are you counting? You're not counting those. Uh, the the ones that were written by his son, no. Okay. Uh, the ones that were written by his son were like he sort of took over because um, because the the original author died. Um, uh, you know. Oh. After he had. The son. Finished up a bunch of stuff. Let's not talk about that. <laughs> yeah, there's some there's some uh, uh to my to my knowledge there's some. Uh, uh, reluctance to, I guess, uh, acknowledge the fact that those uh, books exist within the Dune fandom. Really? My favorite yep. I, I see Irish is guessing uh, 1.67, or sorry, 8.67 million novels. I feel like that's a lot. That is a lot. Maybe I mean, a mm -hmm. well, Taco also said about 700. About seven, 700. <laughs> yeah, that's. I feel like that might be also a little bit high. I'm not it's sure. A bit too high. Yeah, give or take, give give or take a couple. I mean, not even Chuck Tingle is up in on that number, and he writes a lot. Oh my God. Of what? Chuck Tingle. Yeah, you don't like Chuck Tingle? <laughs> I don't know. I've never read any of his books. <laughs> I'd like to one day do a dramatic reading of them. That would be amazing. I've actually never read a Chuck Tingle uh, joint. No, nah, me neither. I uh, mean, I think you just like appreciate the covers. That's I just it. like the titles. <laughs> he did. Uh, he did collaborate on a video game with uh, Zoe Quinn that's still in development. I think. Really? Yeah. Where uh, Zoe Quinn sent Chuck Tingle a tweet or something, where they said, "Hey, would you like to work together on a video game?" And Chuck Tingle wrote back saying, "What is a video game?" And Zoe Quinn wrote back saying, "It's like literature but garbage or something." Nice. <laughs> Which is a very Zoe Quinn thing to do. Oh, that's great. All right, so there's a hunter there. There's Torch Job. Correct, as were you, but I'm not counting you because you. And there's that dude. I think. So yes, it was six. Oh no, my imaginary points I'm not accruing. Jeez. <laughs> oh, no. You've been depleted of all your points. Oh. oh You're back down to negative ten thousand. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Where? where I'm used to. I figured I figured since this was like a internal office quiz, I would have to ask at least one Dune question. Because sure. you know we're working on the Dune game and all that kind of stuff. Sure, yeah. Um okay, What? No more Pharaoh. Yeah, sorry, I had to switch her out because now that these three are pretty bunched together, I can throw down one of um one of Selma's like vine power okay. things. See them, yeah, makes sense. And then uh, I have her just start chucking grenades. <laughs> yeah. Great. Yep. Uh, so I just need to hit these hiding spots. P four Y N U K says this game is so much fun. It is absolutely. It is fun. I really like the sneaking around. Like I'm playing on the easiest difficulty, which makes it pretty easy to, to yeah, beat. Pretty hard. Be easy to. Hmm? I've had it fun. can be if you're yeah. not prepared. Yeah, it's still hard. Yeah. yeah. Bless all those people that are trying it on uh, Iron Mutant mode. On oh, very God. hard Iron Mutant. Yeah. yeah. I did try that. It was not. It did not go well. <laughs> well, yeah, I bet. Well, I guess this is a good one for chat to answer. Although it's going to be kind of hard, and I don't know. Yeah. So, how many right. nationalities currently work? At Funcom Oslo. I don't so, think chat might be able to answer this, but. Yeah, I was going to say that might be kind of hard. I guess I'll give multiple choice. Andy, do you, did you see the answer to this? Uh, I I didn't see the answer, no. Okay. It's so, a lot. Yeah. So, how many nationalities work at. Oh, so this is only Funcom Oslo. Yeah. No, okay. not Durham. So, is it 26, 28, 30, or 32? I'm going to guess 32. Taco says 26. Uh, I can pull. This is like, I mean, even those numbers are way higher than I thought. 
You like thought it, it was less than, than the numbers yeah. on the thing? Yeah. Nine. Like, nationalities, I was like, oh, like, if I didn't see the multiple choice, I'd be like, it's 10. <laughs> yeah, like, I would have guessed a lot I less. I would have thought that oh, most crap, I forgot about the pyro. Damn it. Okay. Oh, and maybe one Australian, so there's two right there. <laughs> maybe one Australian. According to the forums, about three. <laughs> Forgot about the pyro over in the corner there. Are you? So that's Babe. fun. It's okay, you'll survive. Yeah, I'm probably gonna be fine. Just keep chucking those grenades. Chucking those nades. Um, all right, so we have 26 different nationalities. 26, okay. We're actually up that's on cool. 27 now, as of this week. Oh, really? Yeah, because oh, well. we had a new person joining uh, the team and he's uh, from, yeah, he's from Mexico. Oh, cool, all yeah. right. Yeah, so Taco got it right. Taco got it right. Congratulations. Nice. Um, is it Taco from TV? No. Uh, um. Shout out to the Adventure Zone fans. Yeah, I've been uh, headlining my emails a lot with Halen. Well met, my dudes. <laughs> Halen, well met, my dudes. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's great. That's a Taco thing, right? Well, that's a that's a Magnus thing. Oh yeah, right. But I, I'm sure they've all used it at some point. Ooh, big hit. All right, here we go. The vines are gone, I think. Yeah, Borman, unfortunately, has missed like two shots in a row. Yeah, I see. Which, like isn't, which isn't great, but... Uh, it's okay, you got more nades to chuck. No, I've, I've, I've got... Uh, I've got Molotovs now. Still so, a grenade, technically. Yeah, sure. I'm gonna oh, put this on hot sauce. What you want. No, it's just outside the radius, but um Yeah, did most enough. of uh Oslo get that question right? Or like Um most of them didn't actually. <laughs> I don't that's a hard one. It is a pretty difficult one, like unless you uh you know, know a lot about Funcom initially, and I don't think uh a lot of our Ah, uh, I need to take out this dude. Uh I don't think a lot of our people here sort of keep count, essentially. So yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, I certainly don't. All right. Um. Oh no. Ugh. Ah. <sighs> Poor ducks. And then the pyro is still here. Oh, man. Right. Damn. You got this. I got this. Oh, yeah. No, it's fine. It's fine. Everything is fine. Ducks might go down, but the other two will be able. Yeah, you should be able to. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The other two will be able to fine. clean mop these up really easy, I think. As long as Borman doesn't keep missing shots. <laughs> yeah, I know he hit one with a critical hit, so that's the tank. That's the tanker twins down. Oh, good. Nice. Nice. And then use a run and gun. Uh, doo -doo -doo, sprint. <laughs> Hashtag Blaine Borman. I mean, I tend to do that sometimes. Absolutely. Yeah. Um. Okay. Here's another one. This is hard. I don't know this one. Uh, or I didn't. Um. What does John Berthnall, 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 thank you, Ray Stevenson, Thomas Jane, and Dolph Lundgren all have in common? Did they, do you know this one? No. Okay. Did they all play Daredevil? They have all been in a Predator movie? They have all played the Punisher? Or they have all played Jonah Hex? Oh god, I have no <laughs> John? I know Dolph Lundgren. Yeah, that name definitely sounds. Oh, familiar. was it? Wait, is Ray Stevenson the dude from? Uh, he played Darth Maul. Uh, it... No, Ray Stevenson. Oh, Ray Park. You're thinking about Ray Park. Yeah, 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 Ray Park. That's right. Never mind. I I honestly don't know. Uh, I'm gonna guess Punisher. Daredevil. Uh, Taco says Daredevil. Malcolm says Punisher. John says Predator. I'm gonna say Punisher. You're gonna say Punisher. Yeah. I'm probably wrong, but I don't know. Yeah, that, this is a really hard question. I, Ray honestly, Park was also Toad and X-Men, that's right. These are all nice. very burly men. <laughs> they are extremely burly men. I thought I was like, they've all played Conan, but I was like, mm. Nope, unfortunately. Right. Yeah. Wasn't there like, a Conan Punisher crossover at some point? I mean, Conan is now part of the Marvel Universe again. It's true. That's right. He is in the Savage Avengers uh, alongside Wolverine. Really? Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. No, so Conan exists in the uh, Marvel Universe now. Fascinating. Yep. Oh, think of think of the possibilities, man. <laughs> yes. 
Someone um, on Twitter actually pitched that he should just walk on as like King of Aquilonia in like an Avengers movie or something. So. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. Conan in the MCU would be Jeez. ridiculous. It'd be amazing. Something all right. So Jimmy's deep. here. Shout out. Yeah. What is that? It looks like a toy gun. It's a flamer, which I think this is a reference to Arrested Development. Oh really? Yeah, because there's there's during the first season of Arrested Development, George Senior is in prison. And he keeps talking about another inmate saying, he's a flamer. And this being the early 2000s, you're supposed to think, oh, he's making a gay joke. But he's actually, he is a literal flamer in that he sets fires. Oh my God. Oh yes. my God. Amazing. It is God, a, yeah. uh, let's see. Uh, flamer, yeah. fire bullets, ancient pistol capable of shooting incendiary rounds. Prohibited oh. during the old wars due to human rights laws. Oh my God. <laughs> Holy hell. So okay, that's actually kind of cool. So it does it does a bunch of damage, and then can like, does it have a chance to set people on fire? I guess. Uh, yeah, that's cool. That's it actually... has a chance to set people on fire, and then this this thing here destroys cover and shoots EMP bullets, so it disables robots. Oh, but cool! I can do that silently with uh, ducks and um, Pharaoh's uh, mutations. Sure. So. Yeah. Neat. All right, let's uh, upgrade this. Yeah, fire weapon sounds like it could be useful. Like, it's unfortunate that it's not silenced because I was going to say setting someone on fire is technically silent. Y yeah, yeah. but you're you still have... you're still shooting them. So, you know. Yeah, yeah. Well, isn't there isn't there like a weapon mod that you can also attach that uh, has a chance to set people on fire also? Yes. Yeah, so you could. And there's also yeah. weapon mods that knock them down, so then you can knock them down and then set fire to them at the same oh, time, which gotcha. is cool. choice. Uh, uh, Jimmy says it's great yeah. against plant-based enemies, so. Someone on YouTube was asking, do any of you know why Inconex also filters icon gray out items rather than hiding items? Seems like that would have been more logical since it gets rather cluttered in the crafting menu. Um, um, I think the reason for that is that uh, it's supposed to, you're still supposed to be able to see like what you have and then it just like pushes the things that you filter, that you, uh, like the things you want to see is just pushed to the top, essentially. So you can still yeah. see what items you have. Um, and you know, sort of filter everything to the to the top of the thing. Andy, if you're shooting bullets that set people on fire, you better gag them because the screams won't be silent. Jeez. Well, that got dark. Uh, <laughs> I'm talking specifically with the mechanics of Mutant Year Zero. Sure. And setting someone on fire is actually silent for some reason in this game. <laughs> so like, if you, yeah, like if you if you have a fire mod on a silent weapon, mm -hmm. the fire like setting someone on fire using that using a silenced weapon will not cause like an alert. Uh, I've abused that before where like, I've right. had a gun that's had like, it does 13 damage, but the enemy has 14 health. So like, I'll just pray for a fire proc. Oh my God. And then, so it does 14 damage on a crit. So like I'll open a Pharaoh for a guaranteed crit and then it sets them on fire and does one damage before their turn. And so, it's still all awesome. silent, yeah. <laughs> I hear that phrase proc a lot and I have no idea what it's a short shortening of. I think proc just me. I I want to say it comes from like old mud terminology. Oh. I forget exactly what it means. I think it means like process. Right. But that makes proc, sense. Yeah, proc just yeah. It's it's yeah. You know you know what the context is, right? Like why like where, when you use the word proc. Yeah, I mean it, yeah. it like it generates so like trigger, yeah. yeah. So I think it's I think it's short for process. Right. Yeah, that makes sense. Does chat know the exact like the etymology of the word proc? Uh, oh, and meanwhile, yes, uh, Melcom and Karumo, you guys were right. It was the Punisher. It was the Punisher. It was Yay. the Punisher. Okay, yep. you were right, too. They all played the Punisher. They all played the Punisher. So, oh, and okay. let's random see. Random Occurrence, that's what it was. Yeah, okay. The uh, program Random Occurrence. Oh, that makes sense. Proc. Okay. So, um, let's see. In the there's a, the first Punisher movie that was ever made. That was Dolph Lundgren. Second Punisher movie, that was Thomas Jane. Third Punisher movie, that was Ray Stevenson. And then Punisher in Daredevil and uh, the latest Punisher series, that was John Bernthal. Oh, okay. Wow, I had no idea there were so many Punishers. Um, they have tried to make him into a, like a viable character in movies and TV for quite a while. Huh. But Graham says the latest Punisher is the best. Yeah, he's really good in that, I think. I'm ashamed to say that I've not seen a uh, single one of them. It's a, it's a pretty good show. And they're and likely yeah. going to recast the third Punisher also. Um, maybe. <laughs> Until next time. Yeah. We'll see. Mm -hmm. right, we got some time left, so I'm going to try to take out some of the enemies in the Underdark and maybe sort of 
prepped for like a third expedition out to that oh, place. Jimmy, I didn't know you were such a huge Punisher <laughs> fan. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, let's see well, how this goes. Punisher, like, oh, just like because I said I've never seen a single Punisher film. Oh, I've seen one or two of them. They're fun. Yeah. Um, it's do just you... like ultra violence, basically. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Do you guys know what um, David Hasselhoff and Samuel L. Jackson have in common? Oh God! Oh, they both have they both been Nick Fury. Yes, they both been Nick Fury. They both what? Nick, they've both been Nick Fury from Marvel, like the dude. The head of Shield. Shield. The head of Shield. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew that, but but uh. Wait, Hoff. Was, yeah, he played Nick. Fury. Yeah, he was Nick Fury at some point. Yeah. Seriously? Yeah, not there like was in the MCU that we know of, but like not in the MCU. But there was a Nick Fury movie in like the nineties. Oh. Where David Hasselhoff played Nick Fury, yeah. It was, was like Nick, Nick Fury? Yeah. Interesting. I mean, he was Nick Fury. Like, he was the actual, like, canonical character. Like, he was actually yeah. Nick Fury. Oh, yeah, seriously? Yeah. Yeah. Huh. yeah. This was, like, pre, pre, like, before Blade actually proved that, hey, comic book movies can actually be kind of cool. <laughs> okay. Uh, man, I just rewatched Blade. It is something, all right. It, it is, is a so, great, great, so great nice. movie. Like, as 90s as you can get. Oh, yeah. It's so cheesy. Uh, and then in the, in the comics, Nick Fury is basically based off of Samuel L. Jackson anyway. And so. Yes. Right. So they just got the actual actor. Was, <laughs> but yeah. I wonder I wonder if Samuel L. Jackson, does he exist in the Marvel That's, the, oh that's the question. I have no idea. Um, but we know that the big Lebowski exists. And at no point does uh, does uh, uh, fuck Iron Man say, "Hey, that dude who was who I was fighting in the first movie, he looks a lot like the dude." Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. So hmm, I wonder. Choo, choo, choo. Reynolds exists in the Marvel comics. Yeah, but that's like different, right? Yeah, because it's like uh, okay yeah. to break the fourth wall in that sense. In that oh, area. I see what you mean. Because De Deadpool in the comic books, he does reference. Uh, Ryan Reynolds, like several times over. Okay. Yeah. Not surprised in the least. Interesting. They also had an X Men slash Star Trek crossover with Patrick Stewart jokes. That's what cool. The... That's a great hat. Oh my Blue... god, that hat! Holy crap! Whoa! Blue oyster cap. Blue oyster cap. Oh my this god. This headpiece not only protects but also projects around it an air of macho seriousness. Literature has been studied most thoroughly that corroborates this theory, showing muscular individuals wrestling each other for dominance. Oh my god. I love it. Literally, are we the baddies? I love it. That's then, so good. Yeah, and then they call it blue oyster cap for, for those of us who remember the '90s and the Police Academy movies. Uh, this is great. All right, who gets this? I mean, Borman obviously, obviously. gets this. Yeah. No, wait. 100% mm. critical chance when hidden. Damn it. That's a, mm. oh, that's a really good one, though. Yeah. That is a really good one. Maybe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it's just, it's just oh, 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 my God. Oh, that's fantastic. Look at that. Oh, oh wow. He still has a. Uh... The stuff he can do. Oh yeah, call him up or train him up, mutate him up. Mutate him. Um, all right, Selma, and then we're gonna unequip all of this stuff. Back with Pharaoh. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Yeah, Axe Warrior armor and. Where is need critical hits? Maybe. Yeah, she needs more movement. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna give her the Sweden hat. Um, do we have another quiz question? Um, well, I'm about to bring shame, but Jimmy, I'm sorry. I do it. I don't know Team Seven. I don't. What think. is Team Seven? Actually, I don't know what Team Seven either. I'm sorry, Jimmy. I didn't want to like say anything, but like I know, I don't... About, I know about Team Seventeen, but I don't know what Team Seven is. Is this bait? Are we say, getting baited? What on. is this? That's great. Are we getting are we getting jibated? That's a thing, right? Solid wood yes. furniture manufacturer from Austria. I see. What? I'm just kidding. No. I think there's something else. I think they're they're a furniture manu uh, manufacturer, but Team Seven is also a oh, comic it's like book. Also a comic book. Are they all uh, leather daddies? Like what is this? Brother? 
Oh my god. Oh wow, yeah, there's a lot going on. It's super macho. It's well, a Wildstorm comic book title. That if it's Wildstorm, then that makes sense. If it's super that, macho. A lot of muscles that I didn't know existed. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, there's a um, there's a um, is there like a lighting artist or graphics artist from um, uh, God Naughty Dog that I follow on Twitter. Who's this? He's a big, big burly uh, gay man. He, like he's super interesting to follow on Twitter. He sometimes posts, posts picture, pictures of his boyfriend, who's also a big burly gay man. And like at some point, someone commented saying like it looks like his muscles have muscles. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Popeye like shorts for like yeah, his yeah, muscles yeah. and a muscle grows on top of it, and then like a battleship appears on top. Of it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, should I try to take these two out? It was like a final thing on the stream. Yeah, let's try to do that. The I believe in you, Jens. Thank Save. you. I'm giving you my energy. Uh, people of spirits of the world, lend me your strength or something. I'm actually yeah. going to switch Pharaoh back to uh, Selma because I need to use nades for this thing. Oh. Nades and Molotovs. I'm on silence since I said that I didn't know what uh, Team 7 was. So you I feel like shame. he's probably Sorry, Jimmy. on his way here to like <laughs> watch it or look at it or whatever you do with it. Yeah, he's driving down now. Yeah. Spell splitter. He's going to bust through the wall. <laughs> with his with his like rabbit mask on IRL. So like, oh my god, it'll, yes. It'll, it'll look like a Looney Tune like cut out. Jeez. The wall. Like red You're eyes. damn right, Romantic Past. This game is such a gem. It is, yeah. I re I'm really digging Mutant Year Zero. Oh my god, Jimmy, you finished the Moons of Madness at 4 a.m.? Oh my god. Oh, I'm glad you liked it. Uh, I, I checked in on a Mixer streamer yesterday, and he had finished it at like 6 in the morning. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. He, was, like, he loved it. He was raving about it on his stream. Like He could not stop saying uh, positive things about it, which is great for us. There was uh, one of our Austrian players, uh, Leo Grimm. He said that he finished the game at like 1 p.m. his time after playing them all nighter or something Damn. like that. All right, let's uh, let's do fire damage first. Well, I, I just you know, yeah. We of course encourage people to be healthy, be healthy, yes. play in moderation naturally. Like, please don't push your body to its limits just for just for the sake of our games. We appreciate that you love our games for sure. But yeah, just be careful. That's all we that's all we ask. All right, dad mode off. You can't tell me what to do. Yeah, hey, you're not my real dad. Fine, jeez. <laughs> oh, I guess I'm actually doing dishes at this point, but take you guys along in the forum with my JBL speaker. Aww. Okay. Oh, I love that. This is kind of yeah. like a podcast. It could be, I guess. Let's He's talk a... about today's uh, gaming. No, wait, damn it! That was supposed to be the. Oh, you wanted to hit the pod spawner, right? Not the tank. No, I wanted to hit the pod spawner, but I didn't. I, that was supposed to throw a grenade, but then that's fine. Grenade, right, right, right. Um, that's fine. I got this. You got this. Toby, got you, this. Just, you can be my dad if you want to. Oh. oh. My. <laughs> oh I, don't my. I don't know how to react to that. Uh. <laughs> uh, Funkadelica says, uh, I finished Moons last night. I was very pleasantly surprised how many Secret World tie ins there were. It was really good and very immersive. Boom. That's nice. Oh, yeah, it definitely takes I mean, place. Oh, yeah, like there's a ton of tie ins. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. uh, and, like, yeah, one of the biggest compliments that I've been hearing is um, I was I was watching Vinny play it, and he's like, oh, man, I forgot this was a horror game. I was just so immersed on, like, being <laughs> on Mars. And I was like, oh, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. That's so wonderful to hear. I did it. You did it. Efficiently. I was like a surgeon on that thing. <laughs> Longest Journey remake win. Yeah, that's. Mm. <laughs> Let's not talk about that. <laughs> I mean, anything is possible, sure. right? Sure, absolutely. I was a surgeon with those grenades and those very loud weapons. Yeah, you're like a sure. rocket surgeon. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, but you have more. Can I take out this dude up here without anyone noticing me? Probably. Probably. Pod jumper, pod burner, and there's a. Wow. Spawner over there. Jesus, I've not played a game that balances normal and horror sections so well since the first fear. Jeez, that's oh, a wow. wow, that's a compliment. <laughs> yeah, I remember the first fear too. That was a really good game. <laughs> I really enjoyed that game. 
that thing just scared the bejesus out of me to the point where I was like, nope, I'm just not going to play this because <laughs> scary game. it's too scary to me. Yeah. Too spooky for me. <laughs> All right. Ambush. Let's do this. What's the what's the story about the under arc? Is this a uh, is this an arc that was like a, a like a derelict arc? Or yes. Is this a, okay. Uh, and I think the the whole story is that it was. Let me let me see if I can check the map. Infested, so. right? Like it's an infested arc, so it's similar to the arc. It has become infested now. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Were there people living here before? Uh, I believe so. Uh, I can actually check the. I can check the lore on this once I. Uh, sure. Yeah. Once I, once I finish this fight. If I, if I finish this fight. Yeah, close this out with a little lore. I'm actually honestly curious because I haven't had it. So I haven't had a chance to play Seed of Evil myself personally, like at home. So right. I'm genuinely curious to see, like, I don't mind spoilers at this point. Damn so it. I'm just really curious of what the like, range. Mm -hmm. All right, let's. Uh... Mm. All right, let's do this. <laughs> I literally couldn't beat fear for days because the fire speed of your weapon was tied to your frame rate. Oh no. Lord, my video settings beat it in 30 seconds. Alright, please hit. Please hit. Please hit. No! You missed? Dark. At 35%? You. That sucks. Bring them to mm, Guys! Yeah. yeah, right? Uh... No one, no, no one sees me save scum, right? Say what? No one sees me save scum, right? No. Aww, yes. <laughs> hey, there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with save scumming, <laughs> in my opinion. Let's see if I can put. Uh, you were just testing the waters. I get it. Just testing the waters. Yeah, exactly. Yo, Jimmy is asking, and he couldn't stream for this week. Uh, uh, no. Not this week. Maybe next week. Maybe we'll do some uh, Conan stuff next week. Awesome. Maybe. We shall see. Maybe, baby. We shall see. Maybe, baby. Maybe, baby. All right. That was a poor, poor angle. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. You can just see the silhouette. It's fine. Is okay. I like how you have to wait your turn to scream about the fire. <laughs> <laughs> Oh wait, I actually didn't have to use my skull splitter. I think, because yeah, that leaves him with one HP, mm -hmm. and then he's and just gonna burn to death. Take care of the rest. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. And then he dies because he <laughs> because I set him on fire. All right. Let's see. Uh, zone map. The under arc. Deep underground lies a mysterious settlement hidden from the sun, the rot, and prying eyes. Is this an undiscovered ark that the Elder has been hiding from us? Will we be welcomed by new allies with the promise of kinship and hospitality? Or will this be yet another cold tomb filled with the ghosts of the long dead? Ah, uh, sounds like the latter, yeah. yeah. It absolutely we're is. Soon, we're soon to be dead in this case because no, you have a lot of enemies you have to clear out. Yeah, yeah. I think I just approached this from like the wrong, uh, the wrong angle the last time. Like, this is where I should have come in from and just like methodically... Probably surgically just taking down everything yeah no. uh yeah so i feel like i'm doing much better at this now than last time it's a learning process man <laughs> oh yeah <clears throat> maybe i can take out this thing too do you have I... to take it or are you just gonna do it for the fun of it i am actually just doing this for the fun of it now uh and if this doesn't work then we're coming up on six o'clock so i'm just gonna end the stream then Alright, ambush. Do it. Boop -a doop -a doop -a boop boop. The time is now. Boop. That was the wrong weapon. Oh yeah. yeah. I was gonna say like that was a very loud gun. As nice as that. Whoops. Methodically, surgically, grenadically. Gr grammatically? No. Grenadically. Alright. Now let's try to try to take out this dude. Did you make that as you do events in games? Uh not in Conan Exiles, but I think there's a Halloween event in Secret World, right? Yeah, we have one going on right now in Secret World and also in Anarchy Online at the moment. Cool. Yeah. 
flame up. The fire really does. I mean, there's no kill like overkill, you know. Are we talking coming. about spiders? Yes. Some people are talking about spiders <laughs> in the chat. <laughs> Break room this morning. Ew, really? It was just like coming down from the ceiling, so I, I grabbed it. I grabbed the um oh, line. The <laughs> And just like walked it outside. Amazing. So I was just like, uh, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, seriously, very much braver. Oh man, speaking of, there was the grossest thing I've ever seen in my life in regards to spiders. So we were grilling, and there was a spider. I don't like where this is going already. Yeah, was like, I was like, hmm. like a white web. It wasn't like a web though. It was like it looked like like an egg sac. Like it was white. You couldn't see oh, inside no. of it. Whatever. I don't like this. And so, you know, we had the coals burning. Yeah, his face right going. now. And so I noticed it. I was like, wait. And so I thought it was bubbling at first because, like, but then, like, spiders started crawling out of it because it was getting hot. So, yeah, it started crawling out. I was like, no. oh my God. And I just, like, was like, okay, I'm done. done. <sighs> yeah. So it started crawling out because he's like, yo, it's fucking hot. And he and he dropped down. Not like this. I know. Not like this. I got, like, a stick and, like, burned the rest of, like, the webbing off the side of the grill. Thankfully, it was just one spider. I was like, Hoping and praying there wasn't like a bunch of tiny babies in there. But yeah, one one spider popped out and was like, please don't kill me. <laughs> Did you kill it? Um, I don't know where it went after oh. I hopped down. It was outside, so it's fine. But it's, it's never fine. I know. They take care not of all like the this. other critters, so I'm fine with that. As long as they're not in the house, that's fine. But sure, they take care of critters, but they're gross and yucky and I don't like them. <laughs> But I thought like I thought it was bubbling, but it was only because there was a spider trying to get out of its little mm. home. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, no, not like yeah. don't like this. No, absolutely not. <laughs> I don't like it. Me neither. Cool. So those spiders can be cute. Depends on the type of spider. We have a lot of wolf spiders, which can get pretty oh, big. Mm. I, um, nope, nope. Yeah, no, they can get enormous. And like, I don't kill those because A, it makes a mess because they're big. And then <laughs> and then B, they actually do eat like the things that I hate the most, any kind of bugs or whatever. So I'll allow it. Over here, sure. But yeah, they stay outside. There was one, um, there was one mama spider that always like sat on our porch at night and it was, it was big. You could see the eyes on it. Um, but Jens and I are both here, like squirming in discomfort. I know. Here, just and like... it had babies like on its back, like you could see it. And I didn't like, I didn't want to move it because I didn't want the babies like flying off or anything like that. But it was outside, like I said, so it was fine. And then we were in the woods the other day, and we had a flashlight, and we saw <laughs> shimmers in the forest leaves. And it turns out they were all spiders' eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Nicole. Listen, and Nicole. on that bombshell. <laughs> It is time to end this Thursday stream from our Oslo office. Thank you so much to Andy and Nicole for joining me. I don't know why I'm screaming. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween, yes. Happy Halloween, everyone. Probably something yeah, yeah, yeah. to get you in the mood. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> they eat the things I hate most, like telemarketers and solicitors. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, no, it was awful. This is the spookiest. Yeah, we have a ton of wolf spiders, and I fucking hate it. Good. <laughs> 12 out of 10 spiders. <laughs> Spider box. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end the stream here before my hey, nightmares come to life to again. everyone. Really appreciate it. Um, <laughs> so we'll be back tomorrow, and at the same time, I'm going to be busting out my um, digital tablet and taking your requests uh, live on air. Just going to be drawing a little bit. Um, yep. Hopefully I'll be like, uh, Nicole, you think you'll be, be able here. to come? Okay, great. So um, yeah, join us for that for a little bit of a little bit of art streaming and my dulcet ASMR tones. Mm. Should be fun. Yep, that should be fun. And then uh, next week we're gonna since it's Halloween next week we're gonna try to do some horror game stuff. I think we should. Try we should to do that. You're yeah. right. Okay. And uh, yeah, we'll figure out some other stuff as well. So um, <laughs> yeah. no, don't don't send me spiders for Christmas, please. Oh, don't. don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> don't. That's bad. Like, Presents. don't, don't, please don't. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> thank you, everyone, for joining us. And uh, we shall see you uh, next week. Thank you, Andy, and thank you, Andy and Nicole, for helping out. You're welcome. Not thank you to Nicole for telling spider stories. You're welcome. Uh, but uh, I hope everyone has a lovely Thursday. And uh, we shall see you next week. Bye.